Hello friends, welcome to Technocrat Academy. In this video, we start the C program, the basic of introduction of C programming. What is C program? How to execute a code that is written in a C program? How many different compilers we will use to run the C program? And what is the flow? What is the procedure? to create a program, how many different partition in a C program. So we will discuss everything about that in this particular video. So first of all, we understand what is the history of C. So actually C is what? C is developed by the scientist that is called Dennis Ritchie in 1972. So he, uh, he is one of the person that developed the uh, C programming language in the Bell Laboratory of uh, US that Bell Laboratory of US in uh, at that particular uh, the person uh, Dennis Ritchie will develop the C programming. So the person is also called as the father of C or father of Unix. Now uh, this is just a simple history that you need to uh, know. Now <coughs> we understand what is the what is the C and where we use the concept of C. So actually C is what C is the uh, language that is uh, C language is developed for creating uh, any system application. So if you want to create a system application that directly interact with hardware like a device driver like kernel etc. So for that we implement the C programming language. So C language is uh, uh, known as in different we can say that that is also called as mother of different programming language or it is a mother of mother language. C language is also called as mother language. There are various name of C language, we, uh, just uh, as like we says that it is the mother language. So C language is also called as mother language. Why we says that this language is mother language? Because uh, this language to implement any type of language, like if you want to learn Java, uh, C, uh, C++, Python, any language, then you need to know about the C language because this is the basic of language only when if you understand the C programming language and if you learn about C++ so we can say that the maximum uh, syntax or maximum we can say that the concept will be uh, used uh, by that particular language got it so we if you we know about the C language then we can easily learn the C++ Java anything because uh, the logical mind will develop by that language only so this is very important language so this is also called as mother language or uh, we can say that it is also called as system programming language system programming language so that is also system programming language c language is also what system programming language so why it is system programming language because uh, in c language uh, we uh, implement uh, different uh, uh, programs for a system like if you uh, says that uh, there are various uh, operating system like Unix uh, or various operating system uh, the coding of that particular will be uh, we can say that in this C language only if you uh, understand the about the compiler like if you discuss about the C compiler so the coding of C compiler is also implemented in C language the uh, the coding of Java compiler is also uh, in this C language so that's why it is called system programming language other than that we can say that this language is procedure oriented language so this is also called as procedure oriented language this language is also called as procedure oriented language why we can say that procedure oriented language because uh, everything uh, that we need to uh, understand if we want to design the program so we uh, should know the flow of that particular program so this particular programming language follow a particular procedure in that procedure we execute the program we create the program and we execute the program now what is the procedure how to implement the program so everything is uh, with the we can say that the flow chart so if you want to learn the C programming so you need to implement the procedure of that program so this is generally called as procedure oriented programming and also we can say that it is function oriented programming so function oriented programming why we call it function oriented programming language function oriented language why we can say that it is function oriented programming language because everything that is written in the programming will be written inside the function means every code will be ex uh, written in the function in C language we are not implement anything without function. So there is one important function that is a default function that we need to use in every C program that is main function. 
and other than that there are different user defined function also that we can uh, we can implement the function and we can create the logic of that function but main function is important that we use in a program so everything that we written in a program will always inside a particular function so the default function is main function so that's why it is called function oriented language got it so uh, that is the function oriented language so such type of naming we use here uh, like uh, structure uh, we can say that is structured oriented programming languages also structured programming languages also because here we understand the flow charts so that's why it is also called as structure programming language so structure programming language why we can say that structure programming language because in this particular language we implement a structure and after that we create the coding means it follow a particular format particular structure so this is the structure oriented programming language now uh, let's understand first what is the different software that we use to execute a c program means like a compiler so we need to understand the meaning of compiler also so before understanding that meaning we just uh, check here how many different compilers available to run a c code c program some online compiler also there so like uh, one of the oldest compiler that is if you know about that if you listen about that that turbo c so turbo c is a compiler where we can execute the program of c language in the same manner uh, to execute the code c code you can also use the turbo c++ means you can execute the c program on turbo c++ also got it so this is turbo c and turbo c++ now other than that there are uh, various new pro uh, compiler like uh, g uh, j JNU, C, got it, code blocks, uh, other than that like NetBeans, we can use also NetBeans to execute the C program. So this is the various uh, C compilers that used to execute any C programs, got it. So this is the different compilers. Now here we need to understand what is the flow, how to execute the program. So actually, uh, this is all up. This is all thing. What that is a compiler. So here, we just understand the basic of compiler. We are not understanding the complete uh, detail of compiler. But whenever you uh, learn any programming language, then you need to understand. You should know what is the compiler. What is the actual role of compiler? So uh, here, the compiler is used to run the program means if you are using the c compiler then definitely you are able to run the c program so actually compiler is used to translate or we can say that that is used to run the program or normally we can say that it is nothing but a translator that run the code got it so normally what is the compiler so we can say that in compiler in compiler what we uh, apply the language so we can say that any programming language like source code like if you return any programming language means the compiler is general, generalized word if you use turbo c then you are you can say that the source code is c program got it so whatever language that you execute on that compiler that language is called high level language that language is what high level language so which type of language is high level language so we can say that c c++ java everything is what high level language means the human understandable language you can say that hindi english everything is high level language hindi english that all are considered as a high level language like a natural language you can say that natural language so every language that human understandable is called the high level language got it and now the compiler will uh, we can say that used to understand that language and that convert that high level language to we can say that the source code and we get the output what is the output so the output is nothing but what target got it so this is nothing but what target so source code will convert into target and that is called low level language got it this is called what low level language and that low level language is nothing but the binary 0 1 so the the task of compiler is what read the program that written in a, any specific language like C, C++, Java, any programming language and that will translate that language into the low level language. <coughs> there are various steps that used to for the execution of that code. There are various steps between that 
because this is the uh, we can say that that compiler is implemented from various partitions. So <coughs> there are various parts. So we'll discuss about that. Uh, that is uh, we can say that the main part of the compiler. So actually when we execute the C program, so the compiler will translate that program into low level language and you can get the output. Got it? Now here we first uh, understand the flow of the program. First what you need to do? You just create the source code. After then you just execute that particular source code. So when you run, uh, if you use like Turbo C and if you use different commands to execute that, so you first create the source code, got it? You just create source code. After that, you need to definitely you create a source code in any text editor or we can say that if you use the Turbo C, then you directly implement the code on that particular platform, got it? And after then, <coughs> when you want to compile that code, if you want to run or you want to compile that code. So here we use first Alt plus F9. So that is used means if you use the keyboard and you press the Alt plus F9 uh, together, then you you are able to compile that code. Now what is the meaning of compilation and what is the meaning of execution or run? So in at the time of compilation, what we can say that Alt F9, it will compile the code and after compilation, we can say that it create a byte file. Got it? means uh, there is one uh, executable file will be create after compiling the source code. So alt F9 is used to compile source code, compile source code, got it. So you just compile the source code by using alt F9. Now after that, what you need to do after that, after compilation, you, uh, uh, you just run control F9, got it, uh, means you just uh, apply the control F9 and you just run the code. Means so uh, when you apply the alt F9, it create a byte file or we can say that the executable file and after performing that uh, control F9, that code will be executed and you get the output on your, uh, we can say that the screen, got it on your monitor. So you can directly run by cult, uh, control F9 if you put control F9 so it by default execute the code and directly get the output. So this is the just basic step that you need to know because there are various online uh, compilers are there in that particular compiler you, uh, there is a button and you directly uh, press the run button and the code will execute and you get the output. But this is the basic thing that you need to know. So what is Alt F9 and what is Control F9? If you run the uh, Alt F9, then it will compile the source code and it create the byte file or we can say that the executable file. And after pressing the Control F9, you get the output. Got it? The, uh, we can say that the code will be execute. So this is the process. So uh, other than that is also if you uh, check the result or after executing, if you uh, again check the result in this screen then you can also apply the alt plus f5 so that is used to uh, check the result what is the result of previous code and whatever the code you execute so you can run in this manner now let's uh, understand the flow here that actual compilation before actual compilation what is the actual flow of programming language like here what we can say that there is uh, uh, some flow that one Preprocessor is there. Preprocessor. What is preprocessor? So actually, this preprocessor is used to. We can say that the expand the source code means whatever the source code that you written in C language. If you have a program, that program is nothing but what we just says that it is source code that you want to execute. If you apply that code in preprocessor, actually that uh, that is the uh, we can say that the uh, execution uh, programming execution got it the flow of programming execution. Once you run a program, then what is the programming language language execution? So this is the flow. So first we apply that preprocessor. Now what is the preprocessor? So actually this is also a part of compiler. Here uh, that is the first part of compiler. You can say that or uh, in the uh, we can say that the different uh, systems there are two uh, different we can say that the software we can use like a preprocessor and then compiler but actually uh, here uh, nowadays we can say that the compiler itself will perform everything and like previously we discussed that we apply the source code on compiler and we get the target code but actual the flow of execution of language processing system is what when you apply source code on a preprocessor 
what you get you get the uh, we can say that the expanded expanded source code got it you get what expanded source code now this expanded source code is what this will be applied to the compiler now what is the difference between the source code and expanded source code so in a c programming uh, when we design a program we use some header files at the beginning of the program and that header file is what that header file includes some libraries got it or we can say that uh, in the header file we can use some macro definition also like some shortcut also we apply that particular program so that shortcut will be uh, replaced by or we can say that that shortcut will be expanded by preprocessor now how it will be expanded so we'll discuss about every preprocessor every macro definition in detail when we uh, learn uh, in the c programming uh, then we'll discuss about everything but this is just a flow so we need to understand that flow so we can say that the source code preprocessor and expanded source code we get again we have a source code now that compiler will create what this compiler will create the executable file executable file got it like here uh, we can say that there is one more uh, translator that is called assembler so we here we assume that compiler and assembler together will be there now this executable file is applied to a linker loader the next phase is what linker loader here we just assume that here we just assume that in our c program there is not any error means the program is error free then the compiler will generate executable file if there is an error we what we can say that if there is an error then we can say that we need to resolve that error error and we just uh, back to the previous step if there is error it generate the error we resolve that error and again that program will apply to the compiler that is the simple concept now here we just assume that there is not any error in the compiler in the code so it generate the executable file or executable file is nothing but a uh, we can say that the simple exe file got it so that executable file will be applied to a linker and loader now this linker loader is what actually it is also generate the executable file the linker loader is also generate the executable executable file now uh, here you can say that this is executable file and here you can say that executable file or dot byte file got it dot byte file means here is the byte code here you can understand that is the byte code and that byte code is uh, means in the binary format that form binary format will be there now what is the task of linker and loader linker and loader will load or we can say that the link the external library the task of linker is what it link the external libraries means in your program if you use some external libraries or you use some uh, different files that is required to execute that particular program some uh, external file is required so that particular type of files that type particular type of libraries will be linked by linker and the loader is what the loader load that particular executable file into the memory for the execution got it so that executable means the loader will load that executable file into the memory to execution now after then what we can say that there is a cpu will execute that particular program the cpu is what cpu is processor that execute the program and you get the output in your screen got it so this is just a flow in any programming language you can say that nothing only for c it is for any so this is the basic flow means here a preprocessor and the compiler assembler we can say that here is also one more term that you if you listen about that assembler so we just uh, put together this assemb uh, compiler assembler we get the executable bytecode file and that apply to a linker loader linker link the external libraries external files what is the meaning of library file we'll discuss about everything now loader load that particular code into the memory for execution and we get the final output so this is just a flow got it so you need to understand what is the meaning of that particular now here we uh, discuss what is the particular structure of program actually this is the ex internal execution flow means you create the program and it will execute got it so we just execute by pressing the control f9 or we can say that alt f5 will execute that whatever we use some online compiler or gnu so such type of compiler have a button so you just press run and the code will execute so we'll discuss about that how to execute but this is the internal execution procedure that you need to know 
got it because in the various examination in various interview such type of question is asked okay, what is the flow of the program execution so you need to know about that now after then what we can say that we just understand the structure of c program what is structure of c program what is the structure of c program what is the structure so actually the c program structure is divided into the different parts we just design here like a structure so first one is what documentation so actually this documentation is nothing but what here we just discuss about that what is the meaning of documentation so we'll discuss about that also so first part is documentation got it so the first part is what documentation now second one is pre-processing statement now pre-processing pre-processing statement got it uh, you can say that that pre-processing statements the next part is the main part or we can say that uh, before that main part uh, some declaration like global declaration global declaration global declaration got it next next one is what uh, if you uh, globally define something some variables so that is called the global declaration global declaration now next one is man method not it next one is what main method and the last one is user defined user defined function man method user defined function so uh, what is the actual flow of this particular so first if we understand here whatever the program that you written the first part is what documentation documentation means uh, if you uh, design any program like if you want to design a c program to add two different numbers or you want to calculate the percentage of any particular uh, uh, we can say that the examination whatever type of program you implement so in that program if you want to explain the information of that program if you want to provide some information then you is in the starting of the program in a compiler you can uh, explain the information of that program and what will happen in this program this program calculated what this program generate the specific output so what is the actual program means you apply the problem statement in uh, in this part documentation so what about that particular pro uh, problem statement so compiler how I, how compiler will identify that particular programming statement so actually uh, this uh, documentation part or we can say that any problem statement that you want to specify so this is called comment so actually the comment section is ignored by the compiler so whatever you want to return in a compiler if you explain something in that particular program if you explain in a single line then you can use the double slash for the comment means you put double slash and written whatever that will be considered as a comment if you write down the comment in a multiple line then you use such type of notation like slash star and then you just written whatever the comment and in the last line you just put the star and slash slash star and closing is what star slash so this is the multi line comment and this is the single line comment so that is used to put any comment in the program and that is totally ignored by the compiler so compiler just ignore the comments got it now after that we just come to the pre-processing statement so what is a pre-processing statement like means if you put some header files in the program means if we design any program like if we have a uh, we just understand here like if we design the program the basic simple program here so here we use hash include hash include stdio dot h got it this is the data file after then we put here int main this and then we put here printf hello world semicolon the closing bracket got it before that we need to put return 0 got it so here what uh, we can say that what is this program how to uh, explain this program in this particular part 
so here documentation is nothing we are not uh, uh, put any definition here whatever definition actually this comment part or documentation part you can use anywhere in the program that is secondary thing got it so just ignore about that now the include stdu io is what in this is the header file this is the documentation part uh, uh, sorry this is the pre-processing part means actually in this header file what we can say that here pre-processing statement means this include there are various type of hash uh, pre-processing statement that we use here there are various type of header file so here include is used to include some uh, libraries or some different uh, we can say that uh, functions if you predefined uh, some properties if you want to inbuilt in that particular program so we use hash include and after that we put stdio.h so what is the meaning of that so stdio is what this is the header file and that is specify some specific type of function or predefined header file so predefined functions like here printf printf is used to print anything on the particular screen on your monitor if you want to generate the output or you want to print some message whatever so for that you use printf function so this is nothing but what printf so this function is uh, for this function we need to use this header file got it printf if you take some input from the uh, uh, user side if you take some input from keyword in the program in runtime if you want to some input then you use scanf got it so there is one more function that is in scanf so there are various function we'll discuss uh, later on each and everything when we uh, come to the main program so scanf printf such type of function is uh, considered in this particular file and dot h means the header file so studio dot h is used to inbuilt some header files got it uh, that include definition of such type of function because what is the meaning of printf how compiler understand what is printf so the definition of printf is already inbuilt and for that definition is written in some files and that file we need to include in the program for the execution so that's why we use some pre-processing got it so this is the meaning of that now here the next one is what global declaration the next part part is what global declaration so this is some optional means if you want to define some variable globally you want to uh, define some function globally that uh, some variables if you want to use that variable throughout the program in various places various blocks because the uh, we can say that the c programming is what block structured programming language broke uh, structure oriented programming language so we can say that it implement in different structures different parts some blocks are there so if you use the particular variable value of that variable in different structures different blocks so we define that variable globally after where we can say that we define after the uh, include hash include you define before main this is the global declaration got it so uh, we will understand how many different type of variables that are possible to define globally so we'll discuss about that now the next part is what main definition man method so this is nothing but this man method is what this int main is what this is the main method got it now main method is very important or we can say that this is the uh, compulsory method without main you are not able to execute any program so whatever you return inside the program that will be whatever you return that will be inside the main method so this is the main function so in this function you return everything if you define the user type uh, function like here the next is what user defined function so if you define any function and you execute that function got it so that user defined function is also inside that main method either you can uh, implement it before the main method means if you uh, implement before then you need to uh, we can say that defined globally here and you can call that method from the main function or uh, you can call the function from one function to another function also so this uh, everything will be in the user defined methods got it so actually this is the flow of your structure so there are various pre-processing statement that we use like here uh, we discuss uh, if we discuss about the different pre-processing statement so what type of different pre-processing statement here pre-processing statement so like pre-processing statement is like uh, if you use like uh, include here with the help of hash you can uh, use some pre-processing statements like hash include that we use last in the last video has include got it hash define 
define is used to uh, give the definition or if you define some statement by some other uh, definition means like some variable is replaced by a numeric value so you need to uh, means uh, you need to says that define uh, x and 10 like this such type of means whenever in whatever places where x is used the variable x is used that x will be replaced by what 10 got it so in this manner you can define any type of definition we'll discuss about that in detail so this is what this is the define statement hash define after then hash if define if define means whatever you define if you want to check that particular then you use if define got it now hash if and define means that not define it is just a contradiction of that particular if define so if and define got it next one is what like uh, normal if else if you use if else else if else if this is also like that got it so if define if and define else if whatever so we'll discuss about that in detail when we discuss the pre-processing so this is the pre-processing statement that used before that now uh, after then we apply the main method any global declaration then main method and after then what we can say that we come to the uh, user defined function so this is just a flow of the program in this way you can execute any program got it so this is just a basic of c programming now from the next video we'll discuss about the different uh, uh, type of data that we use what is the keywords what is tokens so the basic of that we'll discuss after that we'll understand the storage classes and then operators and in this manner we'll continue our programming because uh, we are not going directly to the any program of c program before that we understand the basic concepts what is the base of c program if you understand the base then you are easily understand that language so that is all about the base of c what is the structure of c so that is all about this thank you